<laughs> okay. Alrighty, let's get ready. Hey. Let's get all my notes so I can see them. <laughs> oh, I am stiff. I worked super hard yesterday. So, let's just do arm circles with the palms facing out. See, I'm super stiff just by the way my arms move as they go past my ears. I really just want to decompress and relax today. All right, let's just turn our body to stretch that thoracic spine with goalposts. Do some shoulder rolls. Get all those crunchy bits out. <laughs> all right. Okay, so I'm going to walk down and go on to my hands and knees. I'm going to start with cat cow and just start to stretch that lower back so cat tucking hip bones under and then i'll switch to cow hip bones towards the floor chest up and back and forth And I like to do that tail wag, so I turn my shoulder towards my hip and I push my hip out towards my shoulder. Wag that. And I'll switch to the other side. I'm trying to, like I'm trying to push my hip and shoulder together. Push the hip out, shoulder goes back. Hip out, shoulder goes back. Switching sides. It's a very subtle stretch, but it sure feels nice along the ribs. Okay, I'm gonna bring my right knee between my hands. 90, 45 degree angle with that leg. So now my heel is underneath my hip bone. Just gonna have a nice high chest and stretch that lower back and glute. Deep breath in, let it go. I'm gonna just try and be as present as possible. Deep breath in, and as I breathe out, I'm gonna put my hands forward. You could go on your forearms or all the way down. hands and knees so I can bring the other knee between my hands and drop that back leg down chest up high stretching that lower back and glute breath in and roll those hands forward in 
really feel this in the back of my butt all down the back of my leg on the inside my inner hamstrings pulling just relax and i'm just getting all over onto my back need to decompress so I'm gonna slowly roll down and stretch my arms all the way above my head arms beside my ears nice stretch do some snow angels with those arms just covering those knuckles dragging them along the floor And I'm just going to relax my arms at my side. Take a deep breath in. Just imagine my whole body relaxing and sinking into the floor. I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to put my ankle on my left knee. And I just want to do an ankle circle with that ankle. Just to loosen her up and then change direction. I'm going to bring my knee to my chest, pull that knee, and then let the bottom of my foot go towards the ceiling. the back of my leg. I'm just gonna make myself super conscious of all the muscles that are pulling in this stretch. And if you can, you can straighten the other leg out. Start bringing that bottom of your foot towards the ceiling here. And just making a little more of a stretch on the back of that glute. Breath in and sink into the floor. Just be aware of all those stiff muscles. Give them permission to let go and relax. After all, our brain is running our body. We should be able to tell our muscles to relax. Okay, I'm gonna drop that foot down bring up the other knee almost to 90 degrees both my hands on the floor and then I'm just gonna go side to side and let my knees flop to the floor just just twisting up that spine that's probably super tight Back to center, I'll put my right foot down, left ankle or leg on that knee. I'm gonna do an ankle circle. As I lay and relax and sink into the floor. Okay, switch direction. chest and I'm gonna lift that foot up so now the bottom of my foot is facing the ceiling think about those tight muscles that are resisting take a deep breath in and let them go relax breathe out today's all about relaxing a relaxed mind helps you have a relaxed body. So that's what we're working on today. Let's try and straighten out the other leg. 
might make this stretch a little more intense. If you wanted, you could even put your hand on your foot just to pull that foot back. I'm going to bring my knees up 90 degrees, anchor my arms down, and I'm just going to let those knees flop side to side again. A lot of the times I try to do the lower back, open up the lower back by lying on our backs and pulling the bottoms of the feet towards the ceiling like we just did. But there is a way to do it in the seated position as well try today. So bring your knees center, put your hands behind your legs if you want, and roll up into the seated position. I'm going to put my feet just a little bit more than shoulder width apart. And I'm going to put my hands on the bottoms of those feet underneath. And when you take a deep breath in, I want you to imagine taking the breath in just right along where if you have a bra strap or whatever, where your bra strap would be. And then we're going to breathe out and try and lean forward between the knees. So here we go. Deep breath in and breathe out. Deep breath in. Just let your head fall between the knees. You're just opening up that lower back. Deep breath in. Let it go. Deep breath in. almost in the fetal position when we do that one. Let's put the bottoms of our feet together. And if you want, you can grab your toes and hinge forward. Let's just open up the inside of those hips and hammies. And if you want, you can put your elbows on your legs and try and push them down a bit. Take my left leg, go out to the side diagonal. Right foot goes on the inside of that leg. Two hands, one on either side of that left leg. And I'm just going to slowly lean forward as far as I can go. If you want, you can reach for those, that big toe and stretch and lean. I'm feeling this in my lower back where the knees bent. That's where I'm feeling it now. I'm going to just take a little further, I'll come up and I'm just going to lean over to the floor and reach over my head. I'm going to imagine that knee going closer to the floor, but there's only so much I could do. <laughs> Lift my right foot up, put the left leg straight ahead of me. And then take that right foot and put it over the left leg. And I'm going to hug it to my chest with my left arm. And then I'll take my right hand and put it as far behind me as I can and twist away.
is another good stretch for the lower back and thoracic spine. Come forward, and if you can, just put that knee down on the other knee and then hinge forward. Intense for me. I can sure feel it in my calf, I can feel it all along the back of my leg. Nice, relaxed breathing. Bring my other leg over, straighten it out, and then take that right leg out to an angle with the left foot on the inside of that thigh. Put my hands on the floor and out of that leg, and I'm gonna try and roll as far forward as I can. those toes and just make that stretch a little extra don't forget to breathe nice calm deep breaths I put my own on the floor and reach Wow. Oh, that's a tight side. Give you permission to relax muscles. Back up. I'm going to put that leg straight in front of me now. Grab that left foot, put it over my right leg, hug it to my chest, left hand behind me, and turn as far back as I can go. And sure feel the back of my leg just going hey <laughs> and back to center again put the bottoms of my feet together again or you can cross your legs it's up to you and I'm gonna take my left arm and put it behind my back and then I'm going to take my right ear and put it towards my right shoulder. I'm going to tilt my chin forward. I think I need to go to a chiropractor based on how my neck is feeling right now. A bit jammed. Alright, back to center. Right arm behind the ear. I'm behind the back, I mean, sorry. <laughs> behind the ear. 
Ah, you can tell I'm relaxed now. Okay, left ear towards the shoulder. Want you can pull that chin forward. further into the shoulder and thoracic spine. My favorite stretches, lying on my side. All right. And then that bottom leg disappears and straightens. And then that top knee, I'm gonna hold it down with that bottom arm because it will try to lift as I take my goal post arm and drop it behind me. I'm laying here and just trying to stay right here in the moment. Even though I got like all these checklists to do, responsibilities, I'm just gonna scare them out of my brain, just clear my mind and think about stretch and relaxing. Deep breath in. And let it go. Now when you take that deep breath in and let it go, I want you to imagine your arm just slowly relaxing and going towards the floor. Here we go. Deep breath in. Let it go. Just that body relax. Keep the knee on the floor. One more time, deep breath in. Let it go. I feel like I went very far just by doing breathing and relaxing. Try not to think about anything else but this moment. I'm gonna come forward, bring my other knee back up my neck and we're going to do that shoulder sweep. So thumb to the floor and sweep to the back and then back forward again. Just go as far as it's comfortable. You don't have to go all the way to the back. Just find this super excellent for stretching the shoulder. That way we don't get those big knots in the back. I stretch in the front and help the back. Just by strengthening your weak side helps the strong side. Nice balance called balance in the body. Try to have balance in everything. Take care of yourself. All right, let's lie on the other side. Okay, straighten that bottom leg, bring the knee to the floor. Let's hold the knee down, goal post, and turn and drop. Don't let the knee lift up. Now, deep breath in, and let that arm release. As gravity is helping it stretch and sink towards the floor. Again, deep breath in. This is not just shoulder, it's your thoracic spine and your lower back even gets a bit of a stretch. Deep breath in and relax and let it go. It's important to do self-care. Thank you. 
forward. <clears throat> Bring my knee up again, support my neck, and do my shoulder sweep. Thumb towards the floor. Now, I also want to try to do a hip uh, flexor release today. So, I'll get that next. It feels so nice on my shoulder. So before we try to release those hip flexors, let's just quickly observe where our knees are. Just think about it. When you put your palms, your feet together, where are my knees? Let's see if we can't release them now. So you have to find a piece of wall. Excuse me. It's that time of year where all those things affect your allergies, I guess. Okay, so I want to push my fists into the wall. So I got this nice 90 degree angle. Okay, so I'm going to push my lower back into the floor using my fists. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, knees up, 90 degree angle. There we go. And I'm pushing my lower back into the floor because that's my foundation and my anchor. And that's what I'm, why I'm pushing into the wall, my fists. And then I'm going to take my right leg. I'm going to straighten it and hover it over the floor. And then turn it as far out to the side as I can. And I'm going to try and make, imagine your leg as long as you can. And then back to center and bring it back up to that 90 degree angle. So focus on the back, push it in. Let's do it again. Leg out to the side, hovering above the floor. Stretch as far as you can go. Then back to center, back up. Okay, take a second. Deep breath in. Relax. All right, let's push that lower back in again. Straighten that leg, push it out to the side, as far as you can imagine. Stretch, 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 back to center, back up. Okay, we got two more. Back into the floor, go straight, out to the side. Stretch, 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 back in, back up. Deep breath. One more time. Again, straighten that leg. Hover to the right or out to the side. Stretch. Imagine those hip flexors are letting go. Back to center. Back up. And let's take a quick little break. Close your eyes. Arms at your sides. Deep breath in. Relax yourself into the floor. One more time. Breathe in. Relax into the floor. All right, let's do the other leg. This into the wall. Push that lower back into the floor. Lift those knees up 90 degrees. Let's do the other leg. Straight 
to the leg up. Hover across the floor and push over to the side. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Back to center, back up. Take a breath in, relax. Fist push to the wall, push your back in more. Straighten that leg out again. Hovering over to the side. Stretch, you can feel those hip flexors stretching nice and long. Back to center. Bring that knee back up. Okay, and again, push back into the floor. That's your foundation. Straighten that leg out to the side. Push, push. Back to center, back up. Boom. Relax. We got two more and we're done. Here we go. Push the back in. Straighten leg out, out to the side, push, let those hip flexors relax, back to center, back up, last one, here we go, push that back into the floor, straighten that leg out, this is our last one, let's make it count, over to the side, hovering, Releasing those hip flexors. Okay, back to center, back up. Put your feet down on the floor. Deep breath in, let it go. Now I want you to drop your hips out to the sides. And if you want, you can put the bottoms of your feet together and just let those hips, let gravity take over. Deep breath in, let them go, let them go. Relax that body. It's important to have a nice relaxed body and it starts with the brain and works its way down. So we need to relax our mind and not allow any thoughts in except what we're doing right now. Let's roll up. Make sure you don't hit your head on the wall. Okay. And I'm going to put the bottoms of my feet together and see how I did. I, based on how I felt before, I feel least less resistance with those knees. It feels a lot better. Less stiff pain. That's what you want. All right. Let's do a pinwheel. Those legs. And then I'm just going to move my body into a swiggle. <laughs> Circular motion with that torso. I'm going to push that back knee into the floor and then walk my hands away from that knee. We're just gonna release that hip a little more. Sorry, hip, you have no choice but to relax. Don't forget to breathe. Okay. I'm gonna come back to center. I wanna give my neck a little extra boost again. So I'm gonna, this is my left knee that's in the back. So I'm gonna take my left hand put it behind my back and then I'm gonna turn my ear away from that arm towards the shoulder stretch and I'll turn my ear towards it both directions just want to be nice to that neck it's kind of mad at me all right straighten the feet out we got that nice 90 90 hip stretch. Everything's at 90 degrees. And I'm just going to go right down into that stretch. Put my chest on my shin as close to that foot as possible. Deep breath in and don't you let those other thoughts in. Let it go. Nothing matters. Everything can wait. 
you'll do yourself a favor if you just forget about all your lists forget about that annoying driver on the road <laughs> and just think about how good it feels knowing that you're letting your muscles relax self-care sit up and go for that outside knee breathe if you can pull yourself towards that knee and take a deep breath in and let that hip know it's time to relax let's reach for that back foot oh, oh, oh. Okay, push that knee into the floor again and do the same thing, but now we're in this position. Push the knee into the floor and twist your body away from that knee. Just trying to release that hip flexor a little extra. Sides. We're going to pinwheel on the other side now. Whee. And I'm going to do zip circles, which is super difficult on this side for some reason. <laughs> but I'm doing it slowly but surely. Nice and slowly. push that knee, back knee into the floor and walk my body away from it. Push. There's no point in fighting me, hip flexor. I'm letting you go. Deep breath in. Let go. Wonderful. Okay, back to center. 90-90. Put that chest down. On the chin. Oh, my hips are so grateful for this stretch. <laughs> All right, let's reach for the outside knee. What? And I'm gonna reach for that back foot as challenging as that may feel. Now push that back knee into the floor and then twist my body as far away as I can go. Deep breath in. Let it go. Back 
to center. And I just want to do one more stretch before we go and it's going to be my inner hamstrings because they are just naughty. <laughs> so I'm going to let my left leg relax nice and straight on the floor. And I'm going to bring my right leg up and just hold on, keep my neck and everything on the floor and just hold on to either the calf or just the back of the leg. Give it a nice little stretch. If you want to keep your leg slightly bent, go right ahead. I'm going to take that same leg. I'm just going to let it drop out to the side. And I got my hand on the outside of the leg supporting it. So I don't hurt myself. It's just supporting it as gravity is trying to stretch that inner hamstring. If you're not feeling a big stretch, put your heel away from you. So your toes are kind of going towards your face and your heel is out. It's a really good way to straighten out that leg as it hangs out to the side. Take a deep breath. Relax. Take that same leg and go across my body towards the floor. Keep your shoulders square though. I usually keep my arms out at my sides to just keep those shoulders nice and square so they're not following that leg. Deep breath in. Let's do the other leg. So I'm going to straighten my right leg out and then straighten out my left leg and bring it up and pull towards my face, keeping my neck and shoulders on the floor. You can put your hands lower down the leg, put them wherever you like, whatever's comfortable. Push your heel towards the ceiling and your toes towards your feet. Straighten that leg out. Let's stretch it all. And then supported by your hand, you can drop that right out to the side. Whee. Excellent. It's an excellent stretch. Push the heel away. Toes towards you. Stretch that out. I'm anchoring my shoulders down shoulders to lift. I'm going to bring the leg up, arms out at the sides, and drop it over. Ooh That's a good tight sucker. Deep breath in, shoulders square on the floor. Just let gravity fix this problem. <laughs> Feel like you need a little more stretch on that IT band. Just push your heel away from you. Deep breath in and relax. Okay, let's roll back onto our backs. Deep breath in. Reach those arms by your ears and try and stretch and reach for that wall above your head. Keep your arms, bring your elbows down like a goal post position. And then if you want, you can just turn your chin side to side. Just stretch that neck out a bit. Nice and gentle. That neck is sensitive. And I'm going to just roll. 